Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Welcome to Pentecost Pause on June 4th, 2020. We are so glad that you have gathered in this virtual space to practice new spiritual practices. We gather around the theme, Spiritual Practices for the Weary. And today we will take a few moments to practice Lectio Divina. Before we do that, uh, I share again uh, hymn 880 from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. O God, beyond all praising, we worship you today and sing the love amazing that songs cannot repay. For we can only wonder at every gift you send, at blessings without number and mercies without end. We lift our hearts before you and wait upon your word. We honor and adore you, our great and mighty Lord. Today we practice Lectio Divina, which was first practiced by monastic communities um, in the early Christian church. And Lectio Divina simply means divine reading. It is a way of praying with scripture. And the first step in Lectio Divina is to read or listen to a text. Today, I will read a portion of one of my favorite scripture passages, which is Isaiah 58. The prophet writes, shout out, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their rebellion, to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet day after day they seek me and delight to know my ways, as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They delight to draw near to God. And then this is in quotes, as if the people of Israel were speaking. Why do, you, why do we fast, but you do not see? Why humble ourselves, but you do not notice? And then again, God speaks. Look, you serve your own interest on your fast day and oppress all your workers. Look, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to strike with a wicked fist. Such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose a day to humble oneself? Is it to bow down the head like a bulrush and to lie in sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked to cover them and to not hide yourself from your own kin, then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. Your ancient ruin shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. I invite you to take a moment now of silence to consider what touches you in this text what word or phrase particularly struck you? Mm -hmm. 
For me today, the word or phrase that particularly struck me was from verse 12, if you had opened your Bible. The prophet says, and he's delivering the message of God, you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. We consider some questions. What does this passage say to our world, our nation, our community, our church, to you? What images come to mind? What feelings do you have? What challenges you in this text? What delights you in this text? What is God up to in this text? What new possibility is God offering you? I feel energized by this text. An alternative vision of what it is to fast. When we think of fasting normally, or at least when I do, I think of abstaining from a certain type of food or maybe um, a certain beverage or maybe um, a fast from a particular action that is deleterious to me. Um, and here, the fast is the um, the fast is uh, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, to share our bread with the hungry, and bring the homeless poor into our home to not hide ourselves from our own kin, which means to be in broken relationships with our family. The fast is, in um, ancient Israel, was meant to um, connect people with God. It was, the fast was a spiritual practice. And it meant, was, um, it meant uh, it was trying to um, take uh, away the things that are hard or um, difficult in the person's relationship with God. And here, Isaiah, hearing the word of God, sees the fast as a way to um, connect with God by doing justice. And so... When we consider through Lectio Divina, what is God, what does this passage say to our world, our nation, our community, our church, to you, to me? What I hear is to embrace a fast of justice. You are invited to share what you hear or what challenges you or delights you or what feelings you have about this text or the new possibilities that you see presented in this text, you're welcome to put that in the feed. The fourth step of Lectio Divina is prayer. So let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this new day of possibilities, for the strength and the energy to rise and hear your call. We give you thanks for the gifts that you have given us that we might serve you and your people. God, as we 
Enter into this day. Give us wisdom to know how to do justice in a world that is torn by violence and injustice. God, I pray for each person who hears these words today, that each one might hear your call. You know far better than any of us, O oh God, what exactly that call is. Give us humility as we consider all that is going on in our world. Help us to listen to one another and listen to the experience of those who are being hurt. Help us listen to the experiences of those who suffer because of injustice. Help us listen so that we might know how to act with love, with care. God, we pray for a healed world. Guide us as to how we can be a part of the healing you are already doing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The last part of Lectio Divina is to simply sit in the presence of God. Again, let us pray, responding to each petition with the last two words of each petition. O oh God, when we have overspent ourselves, refresh us, refresh us. When we have misplaced our priorities, rearrange us, rearrange us. When we struggle to accept a new normal, free us, free us. When we are overwhelmed by grief, rescue us, rescue us. And when we are just plain tired, love us, love us. Amen. As you go on your way, may God go with you. May God go before you to show you the way, behind you to encourage you, above you to watch over you, and within you to give you peace. Amen. Please join us on Sunday at 11 for worship, and I hope that Lectio Divina might be something that you try uh, today, tomorrow, uh, going forward, and if you find that it's the right fit for you, that it might uh, lighten your path and um, provide rest in a time of weariness. You of weary heart, go in peace. Rest in God's care. Thanks be.